holiday is officially underway right now, and you want to make sure that you keep yourself and your family safe. Our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, joins CBS North Carolina's Stephen Chase with some tips on avoiding visits to the ER this holiday. Fourth of July is a holiday many people use to celebrate our nation's independence, but during that time, thousands of children, even adults, are treated in emergency rooms for injuries that could be prevented. Our medical expert, Dr. Kevin Campbell, joins us now with tips on ways that we can stay safe for this upcoming holiday season. Good to see you. Good to see you. Happy Fourth of July Absolutely. tomorrow. Absolutely. So excited. One of my favorite holidays. Let's talk about this, What though. What are some of the most common injuries that you see during the Fourth of July celebration? Believe it or not, the Fourth of July is the deadliest driving day of the year, more wow. so than New Year's Eve. Really? We have more motor vehicle accidents and 65% of those are associated with alcohol use. Okay. We also see some very significant fireworks injuries, including things that where folks lose limbs and can have blindness occur. Also water and drowning and, mm -hmm. and kids having water-related injuries We're going to get to all of that well. here in a second, so. but you know you bring up a good point. Don't drink and drive, please. Whatever you do, put the bottle down if you're going to be driving. What are some safety tips, though, when it comes to fireworks? Because you know that's what the day is also all about. Exactly. You know, First of all, leave it to the professional. Mm -hmm. I really think these small-time fireworks productions you do at home are really a problem. And you know, sparklers that we used uh, to give our kids, yeah. they get hot enough to melt gold. So I oh, highly yeah. recommend, as does the uh, National Academy of Pediatrics, no sparklers for kids. Keep the fireworks in a safe place if you're going to have them, and keep a fire extinguisher mm -hmm. ha handy. Obviously, if you're going to light your own fireworks, make yeah. sure the kids are nowhere nearby. They can watch from a safe distance. Tips we all need to know about as they relate to the fireworks. Let's talk about water and mm -hmm. swimming. A lot of us are going to be poolside. What are some safety things we need to know? A lot of this is the things your mother told you. Make sure that you don't eat within an hour of swimming. Make sure that you swim with a buddy. Okay. If you are swimming, don't use alcohol. Make sure that you are aware of rip currents and the waters in which you swim, whether they it's shallow water or deep water, you need to be aware of the conditions. And most importantly, watch children. Oh, yes. Your children, other folks' children, yeah. children can drown in six inches of water oh. when left unattended. So put down the cell phones, put down the magazines exactly. and the books, and make sure you're watching your children. Just enjoy the water. beauty of the day. Love that. Dr. Campbell, thank you so thank much. You,